part of the, the challenge is also that you have to have some technical understanding of what engagement means because we're not talking about they just look interested. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not just they do the go through the motions. That is not what we're talking about. They filled out the worksheet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> now we complete it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Getting some technical details behind it so we can say, how do we know this is going on? Um, a lot of people don't realize that we can actually measure engagement in a pretty reliable way, and not just the behavioral stuff, not just uh, you know, but actually finding out are they putting themselves into that learning, into that situation. The exciting piece to me is like. I'm not just another complainer about the way things are. Um, I, I may not have, you know, I, I did homeschool other people's kids for about five years way back. But I think, I think we have this uh, piece that we can, we can bring forward and, and go to a school like yourself and say, okay, doing great work. Let's, let's actually put some things around that that are consistent with your vision and your, your actual evolved practice of how you do things mm -hmm. and say, Here's a data set that could actually tell you that you're doing exactly what you say you're doing or, or not. Right. By having that feedback, you'd actually manage that and say, okay, we need to do better on Here, maybe it's autonomy support can, or it's maybe right. it's do better on the, with the competent support. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I mean, I know what the parameters are because we know that it's autonomy. It's going to come down to autonomy, competence, and relatedness in one way or another. Mm -hmm. or, or actually, there is another category of need, what I call uh, particular needs. So it's not just those universal ones. Autonomy, competence, and relatedness are universal to all humans. But there's also things that are specific to your culture or your situation or your, who you are as an individual. So there are mm -hmm. needs there, too. It's just that they're unique, <laughs> like literally. <Right. laughs> so once we get those things to where we're actually having meaningful measures of them and meaningful measures in, in where I can go to someone like you and say, mm -hmm. let's, let's measure these things. And you can say, yeah, okay, let's do that. You know, it, and not feel like you're compromising your practice mm -hmm. by doing it. And that's the thing that's, that's juicy to me is we can have the conversation and find out. How is this working? Where's the, what's the evidence? Let's yeah. see. And it's not compromising. It's actually, um, you know, providing more visibility into the methods and into their effectiveness and right. help, right? Helping that helps us evolve. Exactly. That's what it's all exactly. about, right? Evidence based, um, you know, research based theories where, and then where, where does the rubber hit the road? Exactly. This is the Agentic Schools podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world. Where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.